Viewer discretion is advised. Come on man, you can't just avoid the checkpoints. You got to go through them just like everyone else. I just want to get to class. That's all. I don't want trouble. And you'll get too. As soon as you go through our checkpoint. Hey dude. Think you dropped this out in the quad. You know, once word of this gets out, everyone's going to know you're a bully and that you support Paul's side. Guys, I'm not a bully. I never liked Harrison. I swear. And I wasn't really supporting Paul either. Oh really? Well then how do you explain this? That's a picture of you at one of Paul's rallies, is it not? You should know that PAB is quick to react. Everyone who opposes us will be exposed. Okay, okay, fine. I won't show up at Paul's rallies anymore. I swear. Please, just let me get to class now. Hunter, let him go. This shouldn't be the way to do things. You guys actually got my text? That's right. Julie and I have our phones set up so that we also get alerted when there's a problem. A network of bullies. What the actual fuck is the meaning of this Paul? PBS private group chats too. How is what we do any different? Why don't you guys just let Brian go to class and we leave this right here? You're outnumbered. You know that, right? Numbers don't matter when you have the principal on your side. Oh right. Because Hopper really cares about us students. If you wish to lodge a student complaint, that can be arranged. But for now, the bell is about to ring. So I suggest you all get to class. Fine. But Mrs. Sinclair is going to hear about this. Hey, wait. Thank you, Miss Harris, for bringing this to my attention. Of course. Mr. Hopper. Hunter chased me because I wouldn't go through his checkpoint, and the other guy took my phone. I will deal with this matter shortly. It is my top priority. But please understand, my hands are sometimes tied behind my back. With all due respect, sir, this happens every time there's another incident of bullying. You can't just leave us hanging, like you did when Harrison was here. I'm in a very tight spot, Mr. Ellison. More so than I've ever been in my entire career. Unfortunately, this conflict with PAB is now being fought outside the school by powers beyond my control. I'm sorry. But I cannot elaborate further. Paul, we seriously need to do something about this. Now they're crossing the line into confiscating people's phones. Can't we? I don't know. Rough them up or something. No, Brian. We can't do that. We're better than PAB, and we don't need to stoop to their level. Besides, if we respond with violence, then they'll respond back with more violence. It'll spiral out of control, and people will get hurt. Precisely, Mr. Sanchez. You all get to class now. This is a problem which unfortunately cannot be solved today. I'm impressed with how fast we got this network up and running. It was pretty simple. I've made online study groups before, and so has Simon. 
but we can't keep this up. There's only so many times we can be there to help their supporters out. True. But if we hadn't have shown up, the whole thing could have been worse. One thing I've noticed. All this stuff is a pattern. What kind of pattern? Kids like Harrison were bullied, then they become bullies. Many of the PAB students were also bullied, now they become bullies too. And you were bullied too, but you never joined up with PAB. Because I almost became a bully myself, back in Tindale Valley. But I had good people like Jessica, to keep me from going down that path. And the others didn't. But not everyone here is fortunate to have a Jessica of their own. I know. But if we can't explain to our supporters the pattern this school goes through with bullying, then we might get them to understand how to help their friends on the PAB side. Instead of resorting to violence, it's worth a try. We can start doing our research after school. I have a few more ideas. So, were we able to get anything from Brian Ellison's phone? Well, um, no. The principal took his phone and gave it back to him. It was locked. God damn it. If I may suggest, why don't I infiltrate Paul's group? What? That'll destroy our support base. No, just hear me out. If I can infiltrate their group, do a little digging around, I may be able to find some evidence against them. They lose all their supporters, and the school is fully back under our control. What if we forge some evidence? My nephew did that for me years ago when I worked mall security in Tyndale. It was to help me bust this one troublemaker that I didn't like. But then she somehow was able to prove it was fake, and all that work was for nothing. Never mind. Forget I suggested that. No, that's a perfect idea. Are you sure it's wise to go that far, Janet? I mean, planting forged evidence isn't what we're about, right? Why don't we just focus on the court cases? Once we win those, we can call it a day. Absolutely not. I will not stop, until this town faces consequences, for what happened to my husband. Look, all I'm saying is... I know exactly what you're saying, Nancy. You're trying to undermine me again. You've been doing that too much lately. Janet, that's not true. Isn't it? For weeks now, every time we've made headway, here comes Nancy, trying to hold us back, trying to tell us what we're doing is not acceptable, how it's not right for PAB. How do you know what's right for PAB? Did you put it together? No, I did. And what I say, goes. Janet, you need to calm down. Brutus, escort that traitor out of here? She is no longer a member of PAB. Don't bother. If this is how it's gonna be, then fine, I'm out. But before I leave, know this. Not only did you just lose my support, you also lost the support of my husband and my kids. Janet. We can't just drop people like this. Elisa, sweetie, don't worry. We've reached our endgame. You will have your justice very, very soon. So, what's the plan? Do you still want me to infiltrate them or? Yes. Infiltrate them. Record them. Forge evidence. Do whatever it is you need to do. When do I start? The sooner the better. Okay. So are we absolutely sure PAB doesn't have anyone working here? Need I remind you all what happened to Randy and I last time we came in here? I got a part-time job here at Wayne. Trust me, the manager hates PAB. Wait a minute. Didn't they show up over there trying to start shit not too long ago? I saw it on their Instagram. Yeah. Last week they showed up to harass me, after I didn't go through with their dumbass plan. The manager kicked them all out, and told them not to come back. Guys, we don't have a lot of time until Monday. 
Paul and I are using a lot of leverage to set up this presentation. We're metaphorically stealing the stage from PAB. And how do you know this'll even work? Dwayne and I are irredeemable. Paul, I know you've never forgotten all the times we both made life hell for you. I wouldn't think you'd want us in this. What's done is done. And I won't forget what you guys did. But right now, this PAB problem is bigger than all of us. We can't let them ruin the lives of every student at Gilroy Rose, just because of some crap that happened years ago. That's right. Even the school clubs are having a hard time operating because of PAB constantly looming over them. It's like they don't even want the school to have nice things. Sounds like those assholes just want you all to be as miserable as they are. Why does your principal allow that crap to go on? Principal Hopper probably doesn't have much of a choice. My dad knows him. Normally he wouldn't let this happen. So the higher-ups in the district must be tying Hopper's hands. Yes. Okay so what do we know already? The school district wants to appease PAB. Our supporters are looking to prevent any kind of escalation. And the court cases will be happening very soon. Right? Yeah, according to PAB's social media, the hearings are taking place within a week. Shit. What is it? We've had to go with a public defender. Meanwhile, PAB hired a good family lawyer to go against us. Yeah, it's Eliezer's uncle. And when we say he's good, he's really good. We are fucked. I know we can't change the outcome of the cases, but we can change how the students feel. Which is why I've asked you guys to be in this with us, even though you've done some seriously messed up shit in the past. I wish you really knew how sorry we are. Back then, we had no idea what we were getting into by getting involved with Harrison and all them. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. I felt that my parents were putting a lot of pressure on me, being the oldest, to set a good example for my brother and sister. Harrison was clever enough to make it seem like we were doing good things for the school. But obviously, it was all lies. I guess for me, it was when my mom left us. After my dad came out. I had a lot of anger. And Harrison gave me a chance to take that anger out on others. At the time, I just didn't think about, or really care, what it was doing to them. This is all great. This is what we need to explain to the people. Everyone's talking about what happened with Harrison, but nobody's talking about the how, and the why. If we can get all the students to understand it, then they'll see the PAP's approach, just continues the cycle. It's a long shot. Maybe, but it's still worth a try. Even if we lose. No one else is coming to stop PAB, so it might as well be us. That's a lot of pressure to put on yourself, Paul. Yeah, but I believe in it. And it's worth it to me. I've dealt with all this for so long. I just want to put an end to it. Whatever that end is. Well, Sanchez. Guess I can't say that I disagree with you. If putting this all to rest means we can finally move on with our lives, then I'm all in. Even if we're not friends, it's worth working together. Finally. Paul's made you all see what needs to be done. Right. So I want all of you there on Monday, in whatever way you can be. If we address the students, and explain to them the how and the why, then we just might get through to them. Then let's get to work. We have a lot to prepare. So, you're seriously thinking about going against Graham? They can't replace us both, Catherine. The students and the parents want total transparency. It's time we admitted our failure. Then, we can hopefully move toward a proper anti-bullying strategy. One that everybody will support. Well, this is it then. For old time's sake. Done and over with. Everyone will get answers.